Goodbye for now. You know you can trust me. Why have you not spoken to me? What? What? Hang on a minute. Oh, I hope your husband's not a skull and buried in there, is he? She expects him to speak to her. Does she? I assume she'd be causing more of an uproar if her husband was suddenly, like, scratching at his coffin. Right, we need to find that other gentleman. is in danger. More or less where we originally found Xiao Jun. So let's get a trot on. That's you. I hope that's not him. Oh, God. All right, we're going to have to fight this one, I reckon. Shoot it. Oh, back up. You and your powers are very annoying. Oh, right, stamina, stamina. Easy. I know they're just skulls, but let's not take it too casually. Oh. Have a drink. There we are. Give me some of that. Oh, you're a tough one. Is that more blood? There we go. Whittle you down. There we are. Let's have a top up fully. Hello. Ah, no, they're just, just the loot. Just what they had in their pockets. This is why I found Oh Jun. Oh. You weren't here last time. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? Is this him? This man's far too old to be Samuel. Oh. What about this one? No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. And you're the analytical one, Jonathan. On Earth got them. That almost seems ritualistic. It's locked. Ah, oh, hello. You're Pruin Guard. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. The blood trail? What blood trail? Ah. I have a feeling it's not going to be a happy ending for our friend Samuel. Where did he go? He was walking down here, clearly. But then it looked like he was going to turn off left. But the handprint has gone to the right. As I feared, Samuel no longer preaches the good word. Ah. Uh, not only is not a happy ending, it's probably the worst ending we could have hoped for. Let's start with a sip, and let's put Samuel out of his misery. Come on, let's get you down straight away. Nope. Alright. Take one of these. Have one of these.
That's it. Poor Samuel. Sent by some idiotic priest with no concept of how dangerous it is at this time of night. To his death. But Samuel should have had more sense. Come on. Back over here a bit. Let's not attract any more attention. Here we go. Now that's it. There we go. Be at peace. Personal diary. A little note on him. Where are we going to find that? Ah, here we are. Small diary partially covered with dried blood. 12th of October. Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering. His words are all this city needs. Tonight, I gave him all I have. My strength, my faith, my wealth. And if it is not enough, I know where to find more. Wait, did this Father Whitaker send him to the graveyard knowing how dangerous it was? To cover up a loose end. Father Whitaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disputing the rooms to the last remaining residents of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick. Awful, awful odours. On the last floor, Father Whitaker found an old man lying on a dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood in a wooden bowl. Father Whitaker knelt before him and prayed for a long time. The man seemed to feel better. Then we both helped him find the light. I cried then, and I cry now as I write these lines. For I have never seen a soul so relieved to finally... to be finally redeemed. Father Whitaker is a saint. If, if it is... Not presumptuous, nor a sinful expression of pride. I wish I'll be able to save as many souls as he does, for it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. Helped him find the light. Why do I think that Father Whitaker is now killing people? Tonight we both went to the whorehouses boarding the canal. I must admit I was very afraid to cross the path of Jezebel's, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Whores and infections go together, explained Father Whitaker, but their customers quickly get scared when there is mention of disease. In the last brothel, we found two sick women sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The odour was awful once more. The smell of Satan and of disease, explained Father Whitaker, before kneeling and praying for those lost souls. The women were so frail and sick they were not able to move when I threw the petrol on the blankets. Their souls are now cleansed and pure... Literally seeing the light, they're burning these people alive. Father Whitaker is a saint, apparently. I won't let anyone mock the holy man he is. He shall receive more help and support. But as all the true prophets, he is alone. He needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery and unearth more wealth for him. The dead have no need of the terrestrial goods. But we need to eat, Father Whitaker and I. So he wasn't sent out here to preach, he was sent out here to steal. Tonight, for the first time, it is my turn to lead the round. I chose to return where we went ten days ago to see if any more souls needed to be freed. Father Whitaker approved my choice, since a good man's work is never finished. And Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said if I can sh keep showing him so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption tonight. If it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I dare say we are on... We we are one, a path to greatness. We are... I presume that must have been a spelling error. So, suddenly feeling a lot less guilty about killing Samuel. He was stealing from these people, stealing from the dead. We need to find Father Whitaker. Dr. Swansea's gonna have to wait. This man is murdering people. 
Sick or not, they could be scars, they might just have the flu. Does he believe what he preaches, or is he simply a con man who doesn't care? A sociopath. How do I get out of here? Right, let's get ready to put some more bins. Let's get ready to stealth away. Don't want the attention of the Pru and Guard. Hello, sir. Oh, flip. Just keep moving. Voila, none the wiser. Now, Father Whitaker. He was in front of the church last time I noticed. Here he is. You and I, sir, are going to have a nice long chat. Good evening, Mr. Whitaker. It's Father Whitaker. No, son. it is not. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? And are you lost in your irrational illusions? I found your disciple. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself. Donations? Is that how you expect them to be called? Please accept this money. Well, I don't know if I want your dirty money. Let's hear it from you, first of all. Why send Samuel to the cemetery? Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood. Sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. That... A queen? Right, let's not buy into this delusion, but let's hear what you have to say. Laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. I think you're a little bit drunk yourself. Well, your disciple was robbing graves. What did you say about that? Your disciple, Samuel, stole from the dead in Stonebridge Cemetery. I have proof of his crime and proof of his death. No! Samuel was the best of us. So devoted, so zealous. He gave all he had for the cause. He tirelessly preached the good word. Not the cause of burning people in their bloody beds. He defiled the dead. He defiled the dead with his petty thefts. That's how he financed your misguided crusade. Think what you will. When this city is saved, he will be praised for his devoted fortitude. He walked boldly into the mouth of abomination. And he was a crook. Your precious Samuel used you. He was an immoral Oh, he didn't use him. He got used. If that's true, then he will be my burden to bear during this endless night. Wait, this guy... W no, hang on. Confess your crimes. Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. You exploit... The epidemic to kill. You're just, you're no more than a dignified sadist. You're not the saviour of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. Yes, you do. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. You have this God complex yourself. This saint complex that you're doing God's work by murdering and killing because of things you don't understand. You exploit this epidemic. You are just another heartless murderer. 
exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No. No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself. The proliferating sick. You. You are a sick man. This man is so deluded, I have no hope of mesmerizing him. That's how just insane he is. And I want, I do want to drink him because it would stop him burning people in their beds. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. I need to go to the police. Sick man. Well, not quite the resolution I wanted. And he's still going to preach his hate and burn people alive. Well, investigations. Where are we? Everyone here... ...is now recovering. Pembroke Hospital. I need to give him the treatment for a headache. Mr. Thatcher. Clay Cox. I'd say rest in peace, but you're a nasty piece of work. Sometime soon, I should take another trip down to the docks. See how Father Hampton's getting along. Maybe treat a few people down here. But for now, we must return to Mr. Swansea. Dr. Swansea. This is the quickest way back to the hospital. There we are. Unlock that door. We can come and go from there now. Oh, shit. Right, there's no... No one that can see me. Oh. Poor lady. Steady, boys. What? We've got one of them here. Oh, shit. Just move. Move. No Flipping hell. Doesn't seem like your friends have noticed, though. No, I spoke too soon. Right. Ah! Back in hell, that hurts. Right, we need to deal with you. Ow. Having a sip of you, mister. You. Stand still. Unleash! Oh, that one. Come on. There we go. Right, we've got the tricky one down. Oh, you should have stayed away. These ones. They are an absolute nightmare. Did it drain my blood with its... Its light? That's worrisome. Sugar. That's another one. Right, let's hurry. Don't want to get caught up fighting every time I need to get from Whitechapel back to Pembroke. Why can't I go deal with that screaming skull? It's there night after night. Right. Let's... I imagine people haven't seen me come out of my room tonight. So let's go via here. Yep, yeah, no, just getting up. Just, sorry, I woke up a little bit late. You know, night shifts, they take it out of you. Mess up with your sleeping cycle. Now, Dr. Swansea. Hello. Is he in there with another vampire? God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. No, yes, God of Pruin. My, hospital. my mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, 
McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. I'm not hiding from anyone. Leave him, Jonathan. Don't just give out my name so casually. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. Oh, that's your priority, is it? By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. Bad news? I almost just had my head done in by what seemed like the leader of the guard. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients. Attacked? One dead and several missing. This has spiralled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Atta no, it's Thelma. What's... Confidence has got to be restored. We've got to make people feel safe here. I told you we should have locked all those gates around the hospital. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. Oh. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Harriet Jones? Why her, though? I was sure they'd have gone for Selma. Was it the guard that attacked? Or were they Skulls? I'll help. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. A skull now. The guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Joy. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Yes, I know. I mean, they're not... Necessarily wrong. Ah, oh, right. You you're harboring me here. You're sheltering me here. You know, I'm not going to let them run amok here. Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. I've seen Since them out in the streets. I brought Mr. Hampton here. I will put an end to this. When I said I wanted to go see how Mr. Hampton was doing, this isn't quite what I had in mind. Do you have anything more for me, Edgar? If you don't mind, I have a few questions. Well, I'd be delighted to help you if I'm able. Well... What, ha what exactly happened while I was away, first of all? This, this attack? What exactly happened here while I was absent? Hampton turned. Quite violently as it happened. Lurking about. Attacked Miss Jones. To say he created quite a commotion would be an understatement. Right. Who informed the guard then? I imagine... Probably seeing an attack like that, word of mouth is going to spread pretty quick. How did the guard of Prewin come to hear of this? McCallum has spies everywhere. Spies, Joy. He will Joy. jump at any opportunity to disparage the Brotherhood and show his contempt. And Hampton. It was Hampton then that really killed her. Are you sure it was Hampton that killed Miss Jones? Well, there was blood everywhere, but no body. And you know the state she was in? I fear for what he did with her. Hopefully he just hid the corpse. So her body is still missing. Wait. Wait. She's not going to turn out to be a vampire too, is she? 
And that man in here then, McCullen, was it? Who was that man in your office? Jeffrey McCullum, actual leader of the Guard of Prewen. Actual leader. I suspect he's the man behind the rebirth of this old and dusty society. Well, now they clearly know that there are vampires here. You said it was neutral ground, though. Did they know to expect vampires here? They know I'm here now, don't they? I understand your need for blood and will not get in your way. But if you could refrain from feeding within these walls, it would go a long way to defending your case. Oh, and I just, I just drank. I already drank one of the patients. Right, okay, so... No drinking around the Pembroke. Got it. What is their goal? I mean, it's probably common sense anyway, you know. You don't shit where you eat. What is their goal? What do they hope to achieve? Their ultimate goal is the eradication of all vampires in the country. They see you as a threat to mankind, Jonathan. Well, I don't know about mankind at large, but kind of just being around is like sort of a threat to some people. I went to confess after, or to confession rather, after Mary's funeral. I found it incredibly difficult to enter the church. I recently tried to enter a church. It has been a very unpleasant experience. The Brotherhood's research on the matter of faith and vampirism has proved somewhat insubstantial to say the least. So I'm cursed? I mean, Lady Ashbury. Seem to. Well, maybe vampires can enter churches, it's just difficult for them. And you held up a cross to me. And that repelled me something fierce. Yeah, Lady Ashbury didn't really mention it, she just sent me to confession. Am I cursed somehow? Is this proof that I'm cursed in the eyes of the divine? The wrath of the Almighty? And there's no way of knowing. It could be subconscious guilt, irrational fear, or. Deep-seated beliefs. I mean, I have gone through a lot lately. It could have simply been the guilt that I don't deserve to confess. Science clearly doesn't seem to be able to explain my repulsion for idols of faith. It's hard to explain in terms of science, that's for sure. I'm sure Lady Ashbury will have far greater insight into this matter than little old me. That's all I'll go have a word with her. I certainly should if the Guard of Pruin has been here. I should let her know. I'm... This might feel difficult to explain, but I met the strangest creature. It had horns. It looked like a river of blood floating in the air. I just recently met the strangest creature in Whitechapel. He was immense. He mocked me and accused oh, no, that me creature. of hypocrisy. Perhaps it was a skull. London's streets are overflowing. With no, it could things. not have been a skull. It was absolutely a vampire. It was a vampire, all right. But what kind, I'm not sure. He was large and very fast. Lady Ashbury. Find anything more about this creature? The Brotherhood would greatly appreciate any information you could spare. I will... I will see what I can find out, but he was menacing. He could have probably just thrown me around like a ragdoll. He was observing me with the obvious intent to do me harm. His very presence evoked a palpable sense of menace. You need to be careful, Jonathan. You've no idea what this creature really is. It might not even be a vampire. I mean, it must be a vampire. I will leave you be, Edgar. Thank you, Edgar. Right. Let's just have a look around the hospital. I was checking on the patients. I hope nobody's been injured too badly. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Exactly. My word. Where's Thelma? Thelma? Okay, she's there, right. I'll come talk to you soon. What on earth happened here? Bloody hell. It's like she was ripped from her bed. Perhaps she antagonized him just one too many times, and that's what made her snap. Uh, excuse me. Mr. Elwood, did you see anything? Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. About recent events in the hospital. Can you tell me anything about recent events at the hospital? Before the shouts and the noises, 
I think I heard whispers coming from the stairs. Two voices. Maybe more. Did you reckon from the stairs? What did they say? I couldn't hear. Sounded like they were arguing or something. Arguing? Pipper and... Goodbye for now, Mr. Oh, what's his name again? Pipper and Milton, maybe? I want to talk to Thelma, then we'll talk to Pippa. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Yeah, you should definitely tone that down after recent events. Absolutely tone that down. What can you tell me about the recent events? Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Dr. Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. Yeah, I don't think you'd make a very good vampire. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Right. Pippa, where have you gone? Lady Ashbury, actually. I should speak to you. Oh, was this her? Lady Ashbury. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. I feel... Can we share this meal? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I feel responsible for bringing... Mr. Hampton here. I mean, Edgar should have really known better, I think, at the time. We just brought him aboard after he'd been bitten by a skull. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the skull, I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent, for there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Thank you. That's some consolation, at least. I'm, I doubt she's killed this woman. If she'd have done so, it would have been far more subtle. Look, first things first. What do you know of Asalon? What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel. Stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? Well, you kind of avoided my question. You don't seem all that happy that I've asked. He was huge. He was ginormous. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I a literal giant. Me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. So you met him before then? Executioner of Asalon. N Fergal? What is Asalon? What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club. Ascalon Club. Are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. The vampire politics you mentioned before then. Well, I'd love to ask you more, but I also need to ask you about holy symbols. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols, or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. And you didn't mention that before when you sent me off to church. What do you make of it? Is it God's will, do you think? Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Then I'd certainly like the lens of science to be shot about on this a little, little sooner. Does it frighten you? The religious symbols sort of repel us so violently? Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Fair enough. 
I know you didn't kill this woman. I will leave... You would have been much more discreet rather than rile things up, surely. I will leave you be. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon.